The 60 Minutes interviews with Bernie Madoff's wife Ruth and son Andrew offer a remarkable look into basically the dysfunctional family life of a world-class con man. Yeah, this morning we want to show you an extra clip of the interview that did not make it on TV on Sunday, where Andrew Madoff talks about how he and his brother told the FBI about their father. And the decision to turn him in, how did that evolve? Well, we knew, we knew right away that uh, this was that that was our only course of action. Uh, we, two of us, um, got in the elevator, went back down to the street. Uh, driver was waiting out front of the building and said, you know, you guys need me to take you back to the office or, you know, where's the old man? And uh, we, we said, you know, he's still upstairs, you're waiting for him, and we just walked out. Uh, it's, it was pouring rain outside. Um, and we, we, we started to walk down Lexington Avenue and uh, trying to get a taxi. Uh, got in a cab and weren't even really sure where to go. Uh, we knew that we uh, couldn't live with this information uh, and not do something about it. And we knew we needed to uh, speak to an attorney. And we knew that that was going to lead to us turning him in. But we didn't know how to do that. Um, you know, knowing the right thing to do and then knowing how to do it are two totally different things. And we needed help. Uh, luckily, uh, we were able to turn to Mark's father-in-law, who is a litigator, uh, Paul Weiss, and um, Mark immediately called him and uh, said, you know, we need to talk to you, it's, it's urgent, and he invited us to come over to his apartment, which we did, and we went straight there. What was his reaction? He was, uh, he was absolutely shocked. Um, he is an investor. Uh, he had put his, uh, he, he mentioned he put his retirement money there uh, very recently and uh, quickly sort of dismissed that as, as, you know, not relevant and just please, you know, he just wanted to hear, hear us, uh, hear what, what happened. We, we recounted the story and uh, he, he couldn't believe it. And, um, uh, you know, we, we were talking about whether or not uh, we think was, was Bernie sane? Was he telling us the truth? Was he making this up? And Mark and I were both clear that uh, he seemed to be clear-headed and, uh, and that this was, um, this was real. You called the FBI or, or the, the lawyer called the FBI? It was later that day. Uh, uh, Marty, Marty London, who's a gentleman who was helping us, Mark's father-in-law, um, brought in some of his colleagues and uh, we walked through the situation and uh, they told us what the proper course of action was uh, in terms of who to call and how this thing is handled because we, we just didn't know that. And, uh, and we made the decision to make the phone call. When the FBI came in that morning, did you have any idea that your sons had turned the No, I had no idea. I wasn't shocked in retrospect, but I had no idea. I don't think he did either, actually. What was your reaction when you heard him, that it wasn't the boys who turned the father in? I realized they had to do it. I wasn't angry at them. Of course they had to do it. 